from Shaw Kim, come from Dorchester. Um, August 2014, I was incarcerated for a handgun. And with that being said, the police and the judicial system in Boston Mass is truly unfair to us black folks or just to us folks in general when it comes to being out late at night or just being black or being in a high crime area. Now, I come from a good background, not to say that I didn't have the things that I needed in life or I didn't always get what I wanted because that's not necessarily the case. But that being said, I chose to live the, style, the lifestyle that I, I, I live now. And I can't blame my mother, nor father, nor brother. I can only blame myself. Now, I went to jail, and when I went to jail, I wouldn't say I was a full-fledged gang member then, but when I went in and came out, that's what it was, is where you from, where you going. And it's just, it, it's hard to be black, or it's just hard to be a man, actually, because we're already just shunned off from the world due to being young and black. And nowadays, it's just like, the, 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 the system is just so messed up and this is just me from being in jail for two years We need to fight for ourselves. These court-appointed lawyers aren't fighting for us They're fighting for the person who's paying them out of their pocket So <laughs> don't be surprised if we get a green sheet slid in front of you and they say hey, take this deal Because you're not paying them. They can care less about what time they get for you Not to say that all court-appointed lawyers aren't here to help, but the majority of them aren't here to help the judges Somewhat ain't here to help because they don't understand us. They don't want to understand us. They just want to get the time out of us and set us up for probation, parole, whatever else is whatever else. Only thing I can say about jail is it's not for anybody. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. People need more books, guidance, and God, honestly, because with all of that, and they need their family. I've lost friends, family over going to jail. I'm embarrassed to come home and tell my friends, my family, what I went to jail for. Some days I can't even look at my mom because I know that I went to jail for what I went to jail for and that's not how she raised her children to be. But with that being said, I'm a grown man and I made my bed and I have to lie in it now. So with that being said, my older brother, he was just in jail right before I got locked up. And so he had came home, I was probably home for like a month. He was probably home for like a month and then I go in. So he was home for a month then I go in right after him for what I went to jail for. So it's like a cause and effect, it's like a domino effect. He came home, I went in, and then it just proves to show like, it doesn't just affect me, it affected everybody else around me. It affected my grandmother, my little brother. Because my little brother, he's in school, he's doing the right thing. And I try to tell him all the time, don't follow behind me and my older brother, our older brother, because what? This isn't where you wanna be, this isn't where I want you to be. It was hard. It was actually really, really hard to sit in there and just to know that I was just on the street with my mother, my brothers, all my family. And just to see that within an instance of seconds, your life gets taken away from you. You're in a cage. You're just locked in. And there's people telling you what to do all day long. That was the hardest part about just being in jail. Just to know that your life isn't your life anymore until your time's up or just until you, it, it, it's just not your time and just jail is just, it, it's a hard, it's, it's just a hard pill to swallow, especially when you're young. And me personally, I've never went to DYS facilities. I was always a good kid. I just decided to do the wrong things later on in life. Now, with that being said, I'm trying to change my life before it, it goes all the way left and it, there is no right way to go. So I'm just really trying to be a better man and just be a better person for those around me.